Well, guys, it's time to do another segment on my show. This is a segment that is going to be showcasing Blu-rays and maybe even DVDs that I've gotten recently or that I've had for a while and I've wanted to show off more. So, this first episode is going to be for Razorback. But before I do that, I want to show you what I used to watch it on. This VHS PS release, which has a VHS transfer, and the VHS case has been formatted to look like it's on DVD. Uh, it's not the best transfer at all. Um, actually, it's pretty shitty looking. You get that blank desk. The Ming menu is kind of crap, too. Um, but it's the movie. It's the full movie with no special features. And then I got this one that I'm showcasing you for this video. The Umbrella releasing Razorback movie that is that is a part of the Beyond Genres series. This is the fourth volume in that series. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful transfer. Um, I will say that the daytime scenes kind of look a little clay-like. Not too noticeable because over time it, it get, you get used to it. Um, but I love this cover art and everything. It's just... It's beautiful. And it's region A, B, and C, which says right there. And you got tons of special features on here. Which is always nice. And that's the other side of the spine. Now let's take out this puppy. You got this artwork right here. And if you flip it around, you got the original artwork for the movie, which is an amazing piece of art. I love it. Let's open this up. You get this disc that is the cover of this as well as alternate artwork which I will take out for you it's another piece of artwork that's original it's that one really great artwork for this let's talk about the blurry for a little bit because uh because uh, it's definitely worth your time um Razorback first off the film it's an it's a, I love this film it's an amazing artistic work that uh, has great transitions, like it'll cut from one scene to another in a really jarring way. It's really interesting, I feel. Also, it's got a really great atmosphere, lots of nice colors that really pop, especially on this Blu-ray. And uh, you can't go wrong with that. The acting is great. The animatronics on the boar, our Razorback, are amazing. There's some good gore. Uh, there's also, this includes some deleted scenes that were on the Australian VHS release, I believe. Let's see. Re Razorback the VHS cut the original uncut 4.3 four Australian home video version. Now, this doesn't have the full movie in this cut, I don't believe. I didn't see it. All I saw was the deleted scenes, which kind of stinks, but still an amazing package. I watched some of the interviews, like one with Gregory Harrison that went on for a while. I eventually had to stop it because I had to do some stuff, and I plan to watch the rest of the special features, which include an audio commentary by Russell Mulcahy and Shane Armstrong, an audio interview, which is the one I watched with Greg, Gregory, Gregory Harrison, Jaws on Trotters, featuring interviews with director Russell Mulcahy and producer Hale McLeary, also with Razorback creator Bob McCarran, and composer Eva Davis, which I actually just got got his soundtrack for this movie recently. Uh, and it has some of the cast in there, too, and crew. And as I said before, it has the VHS cut. A uh, certain piggish nightmare looking back at Razorback with film historians uh, Lee Gambin, Alexander, Heller, Nicholas, Sally, Christy, and Emma Westwood. Anyways... One other interesting fact I want to say here before I go is that this was directed by Russell Mulcahy. Before this, he was a music video director, and he was he is the first one, I believe, to transition from music videos to, to actual film. And you can definitely tell by his style, which is really eye-catching color. It's just artistic, and it really works. That's really all you can see about this movie. It's from um, Umbrella Entertainment. You can get it on Amazon for about 20-something bucks right now. Uh, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Yeah, definitely check out Razorback. It's a, it's a classic. So yeah, 
Lion Brian Gatto, host of Horror Show Entertainment. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below and see the comments down to subscribe.